Don't even think of skipping the 5.2 banner. 5.2 have some of the best banners we have seen in the recent time, especially the second phase with Zhongli and Nuvalet, two of the top tier meta characters. So which character should you pull for in version 5.2 or is it actually wise to summon on these characters when most probably in version 5.3, the Pyro Archon Mauvika will be releasing? Let's talk about that in this video. Version 5.2 is releasing in about a week from now and in the first half we'll be having Chaska and Lini with Ororon as the new 4 star character and first things first all of the featured characters Chaska, Lini and Ororon all of them are on field main characters and all three of them uses a bow but there are some major differences between Chaska and Lini. Chaska is an animo character and Lini is a pyro character and Lini mainly relies on his charge attack and Chaska on the other hand does not rely on her charge attack rather she uses her night source blessing state like all the Nightland characters and she rides a gun and Chaska's damage is more AOE focused not single target focused although she can deal single target damage but her main playstyle will be against a group of enemies but Chaska does have some interesting skills up her sleeve. First of all she has her gun in her night source blessing state which will deal primarily animo damage but she has an interesting mechanic where if you have different elements in your team and if you charge her bullets some of the bullets will undergo a random elemental infusion depending on your party members elemental type so she can indirectly deal multiple different elemental damage at the same time and also trigger the corresponding reaction so that is a very interesting thing about her kit but the thing is it is random so how reliable will it be we don't know as of yet but that is looking like a very interesting mechanic and if it is somehow consistent then she can deal a ton of damage through different elements and different reactions but let's not talk about Chaska that much because as of right now we don't have much information on her skills and her constellation but like all of the Nightland characters I am certain she will be a very powerful main DPS option from Animo and as for Lini now Lini is a very slept on character he can do a lot of pyro damage with his charged bow attack as well as his elemental skill and burst but many people don't like the charge attacking bow playstyle that is the main reason of Lini's low popularity but he is a very strong character and his raw pyro damage is unmatched it is only rivaled by his father so he is a very strong mono pyro dps because his kit also complements a mono pyro playstyle so Lini is a very strong character if you can capitalize on his charge attack and play him optimally but that's the main part you can't really play charge attacking bow characters optimally without a shielder so that is a very big negative point about Lini and as we are talking about a shielder second phase will have Zhongli and Nuvalet to old dragon and Zhongli doesn't need any introduction he is the most powerful sustained character in the entire game his shields are basically unbreakable if you decide to run him with max hp as a dedicated shielder but as i always say that is not how you optimally build your zhongli and you should check out this video to build the best zhongli both for shield and for damage but it is no surprise that zhongli is a fan favorite character because of his incredible shields but many people overlook his support ability and his damage so he can deal a decent amount of damage even with a support build so if you don't have many good healers or if you are in need of of a good sustain character then Zhongli is the best sustain that you can get but if you are not in a desperate need then you can definitely skip Zhongli if you have other good sustains or healers because the meta now is to get hit and get HP back because most of the characters enemies and even artifact sets rely on you losing HP to get some very powerful buffs and although Zhongli provides elemental and physical resistance decrease through his shield but it is not even comparable to what the other characters and even some artifact sets provide so if you are not in a desperate need of a shielder or a sustain then you can skip Zhongli but having Zhongli in your account is always a positive and he will make that team better and I've saved the best for the last. New Villet is no question asked is a definite must pull character he is the best DPS in Genshin Impact but if you don't have any good 5 star DPS then there is not even a question you should definitely pull for New Villet he is by far the strongest DPS character in the entire game but if you do have good DPS characters like Arlequino, Moalani or Alhaitam then you can definitely skip New Villet. In my opinion New Villet is definitely better than all all of them in DPS but if you do have very good DPSs and you have built them perfectly then you can skip New Villet because you don't need many DPSs but he will be that one DPS that you can basically use in every single scenario except when there are Hydro Slimes or other Hydro Immune enemies. In every other scenario New Villet will decimate every single enemy he faces and with the recent release of Shilonan New Villet got even better so it's not a question about if you should pull for New Villet or not it's a question about if you have New Villet or not if you don't have New Villet you should definitely pull for New Villet he is and always be a top tier DPS character because of how his kit is designed it is designed for sustainability it's been over a year after New Villet's release and he is still at the top of the DPS chart even if there are many characters who can out damage him he is still the very best DPS because of his reliable damage and his sustainability which is the main factor of New Villet's success it's because he can dish out a ton of damage as well as he can heal himself and take hits so he's a very balanced character he has basically everything good single target damage good AoE damage
damage, good sustainability. That makes Nuvolet an all around very great character. But if you're debating that should you pull for Nuvolet or not, you don't have to think about this question. What you should focus on is should you go for Nuvolet C1 or not? Because that's the biggest boost you can give your Nuvolet. So who out of these characters should you pull for? So here is my ranking. How would I pull for these characters if I didn't have them? So at the top, we have Nuvolet. You should definitely pick him up. If you are in a need of a good DPS character or you just want to expand your roster, he's definitely the best pick of version 5.2 followed by Zhongli who is a very good sustain and a support character who can also output a little bit of damage as well and these two will very good not only themselves but with a lot of different characters so they are very flexible as well next up will be Chaska mainly because she is a new character and we don't have much info or actual gameplay of her so if she is a very powerful character then then she can definitely take Zhongli's place but as of right now I am picking her at the third place I personally value supporting and flexible characters more than a very powerful DPS. A support character can work with many different characters while a DPS character is only good by themselves. So Chaska is a number 3 and lastly Lini because he's a very powerful pyro DPS but we already have two more pyro DPSs who are arguably better than Lini and again Lini's charge attacking bow playstyle is not everyone's cup of tea and I personally am not a big fan of this playstyle so hence why I'll put Lini at number 4 but the big question will be who will you be pulling for in version 5.2? Let me know in the comments and in the meantime check out why Dia became so much powerful after Natlin and I will see ya next time.